Welcome to AI Fest at Reva University. This video is brought to you by AIverse, where we are diving into the world of artificial intelligence in a way that's super fun and easy to understand. Today, we are here to tackle an exciting challenge, predicting whether Pushpa will be a hit or a flop. Well, that's exactly what machine learning models do. They analyze patterns in data, things like budget, cast popularity, and marketing, and predict if the movie will be a hit or flop. Today, We'll show this using a human neural network. So let's break it down layer by layer. In a neural network, feedforward refers to the process of passing input data through multiple layers to produce an output. Now let's see this process in action with a human neural network. The input layer is where the magic begins. Think of it like the ingredients of a dish. Each ingredient adds value to the final outcome. In our case, the input neurons represent important factors like marketing spent, Budget, genre, cast. Each of these inputs will pass their values to the next layer. Now, the data moves into the hidden layers, where the real processing happens. This is like a chef tasting the ingredients and adjusting them before making the final dish. Each connection between neurons has a weight, which determines how important that input is. Think of weights like the important levels of each input. If an actor's popularity has a big impact on movie's success, it gets high weight. We also add something called bias. Bias is like a personal preference. Bias helps shift our decisions in one direction. Now each neuron calculates Z is equals to input into weight plus bias. Now that we have the weighted sum, we need a way to decide which values should move forward. This is where the activation function steps in. Think of it like a strict bouncer at a club. If the value is negative, it gets blocked, and only positive values move forward. This helps the neural network focus on the most important pattern. The input layer is where all the raw information enters the system, just like how our senses take in the world around us. Now, the data moves into the hidden layer. This is where the real learning happens. Imagine a chef tasting ingredients and adjusting them before making the final dish. Similarly, the hidden layers weigh the importance of each input and adjust them accordingly. Now, this layer passes the info to the third layer H3. At hidden layer 3, the network refines the patterns even further by combining the most relevant features. By now, the model has learned the complex relationships between inputs, making the final adjustments before sending the data to the output layer. It's like the final round of editing before publishing a book. Only the most valuable information moves forward. Now, as we move from hidden layer 3 to the output layer, we apply sigmoid function. This function helps convert the final weighted sum into probability value between 0 and 1, like a confidence meter for our prediction. But how do we decide if a movie is a hit or a flop? That's where threshold comes in. If the probability is above 0.5, we predict hit. If the probability is below 0.5, we predict flop. Finally, we reach the last step, the output layer. This is where the neural network makes its final prediction. Our calculated z-value is 0.817, which, after applying the sigmoid function, gives us the probability above the 0.5 threshold. Since 0.817 is greater than 0 0.5, our model confidently predicts that the movie is a hit. And there you have it. Our neural network predicts that Pushpa is a hit. And guess what? It was. That's how AI models learn from data and make predictions. We hope you enjoyed this fun demonstration brought to you by AIverse at Reva University. Now let's see this process in action with our human neural network. And that's a wrap. 
A huge thank you to all our amazing neurons for bringing this human neural network to life and our teachers and mentors for guiding us through this journey. This AI Fest activity by AIverse at Reva University was all about making AI fun and interactive. We, We hope, hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Stay curious, keep innovating and inspiring.